All right, class. Hi there. Today we are going to talk about uh, doing Thevenin and equivalents, but with phasers this time. Basically, same thing as Thevenin and equivalents with just resistor circuits, only the math is a little more complicated because we have complex numbers. Here's the review of a Thevenin circuit. Um, you can see we want to turn any circuit with two terminals, A and B, into the Thevenin equivalent with a Thevenin voltage and a Thevenin impedance this time. So before it was a Thevenin resistance, we're going to generalize that with phasers to a Thevenin impedance, ZT instead of RT. Thevenin voltage is also going to be a phaser. And it's a two-step process. The first step, finding the impedance. We zero all the sources in the circuit and then find the equivalent impedance from A to B using parallel and series. Um, the second step is to find VT, which is the open circuit voltage from A to B. So normally a node analysis is done here. All right, so here's an example. Um, circuit with a voltage source already converted into phasers, uh, a resistor, a capacitor already turned into phaser form, so the frequency is embedded into this number for C, and it's not given here in the voltage or the current, which is also already turned into a phaser. So we've skipped a step from the original sinusoids and um, capacitance. All right, so the first step is to find the Thevenin impedance, ZT. So we have to zero the sources. So to make the voltage source zero, it's replaced here with a short circuit. To make the current source zero, it's snipped away here. Make an open circuit. We're left with the resistor and the capacitor. And because of this short circuit, they're now in parallel because the electron came into this node, it could either go through the capacitor or through the resistor. And if it goes through the capacitor, it ends at B. If it goes through the resistor, it ends at B. So starting in the same place and ending in the same place in parallel. So the parallel combination is the 1 over the 1 overs. So here 1 over 1 over ZR plus 1 over ZC, all in the denominator put the numbers in, 1 over 100 plus 1 over negative 100J, that's ZC. Um, to get rid of the J in the denominator, if we multiply the top and the bottom by J, we get a J in the numerator, and we get a J squared in the denominator, which is negative 1. So the sign flips when you move the J from the top to the bottom. And finally, if we put this into phasor form, polar form, uh, we have an amplitude and a phase. Um, and we can divide the amplitudes for the final amplitude and subtract the phase of 45 from the phase of 0 in the top. And we get negative 45 degrees. So that was step 1, finding the equivalent impedance, the Thevenin impedance. It's really important to notice that all impedances, Zs, combine like resistors. We treat them like resistors in every circuit analysis method that you could um, do. So if impedance are in series, they add. If impedances are in parallel, it's the 1 over the 1 overs equation to combine them. Um, remember, if you combine capacitors by themselves, they flip that. But when we're talking about the impedance of capacitors, series adds and parallel one over the one over. So just like resistors when we've gone to impedances. To get VT, we do a node analysis. Um, this big node here is the A terminal voltage. And so that's the one we're solving for. We'll call that VT. Um, put the ground node down here, this big node at the bottom. We have only one other node here, it's VS. Um, since the source is connected to ground, that one's known. So only one unknown voltage for this circuit analysis. So we're going to use just a node analysis, regular steps. 
highest top. All right, so here we've got the VT node drawn. It's a little free body diagram. This is our only unknown voltage. Label the currents going in and out. So we've got a current through a resistor, current through a capacitor, and the current source right here, IS. Kirchhoff's current law, current going in is IR equals current going out, IC plus IS. And then Ohm's law for the impedance elements, so the current through the capacitor, it's the tail voltage of the capacitor, Vt up here, minus zero, it's connected to ground, divided by Zc, Ir, the tail voltage is Vs, so it's from here, head of the arrow is Vt, Vs minus Vt divided by Zr. So then combining them together, this is IR equals IC plus IS. Combining the equations together um, and then simplifying solving for VT. So we've got the VT over ZR term there, the VT over ZC term here, moving everything else to the right hand side. And then eventually we can solve here for VT in terms of all of the parameters of the circuit. And then we can plug in the numbers here. I've just done them all in rectangular coordinates. So Vs is 100 plus 0j. Zr also 100 plus 0j. This is ohms and this is volts though. Is is 0 plus j, one with a phase of 90. And Zc and Zr, same way. And then I plug them all into my calculator. Um, and I get this 0 minus 100j. And if we convert that to a phaser, uh, it's going to go down in the y direction. So 100 amplitude with a phase of minus 90 degrees. And we're done. So to finish it off, we need to copy the answers to the diagram. So VT, we're, we started with phasers, so we're ending with phasers. We're not going to the cosine form. So VT, 100 with a phase of minus 90. ZT, uh, 7. 70.71 with a phase of minus 45. And that's all you have to do. Anyway, I hope you're staying healthy and found this helpful. Email if you have any questions.